So once you've plugged in your tablet and you put it in front of the monitor, so the way you're sitting is really important. I already talked about that. Open Photoshop. You're going to create a new document. And I prefer 8.5 by 11. So if you click on this print button, it's the default. Now let's go with landscape. So this is, uh, you know, uh, whatever that format is. I, I, I prefer landscape for drawing. So here you are. And you know this, command minus, so you can see everything that's in front of you. Now you want to fill this up. So you're going to draw small because we're going to do three shapes up here and three or four dimensional shapes. So a circle, uh, a triangle, and a, and a cube. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks. So the first thing you want to do is check on the pen tool. So let's go. You can take your tablet to do this. If ever, for some reason, you don't see the drawing tool, uh, let me see. Where is it? Let's, let's have a look here for some reason. I'll just reset this. Not sure why it doesn't seem to be there. Oh, it's over here. All right. So here's your brush. Now, this is really important. How big is my pencil? So if I draw this, okay, I don't. I want you to draw in black. So the hotkey is D, okay? So press D. Now this is, everybody see over here how it's black? I'm going to go Command Z, which undoes. When you are drawing, Command Z is your friend. Now I recommend that you just do it on the keyboard, okay? I think that's the easiest. Now I'm going to show you, I want you to try to freehand draw. Even though there's tricks in Photoshop that I'll just, show you later that can make perfect lines. So what is freehand drawing? Well, it's just, and then it's just drawing with your hand. And let's go, I'm gonna go nine, 12. 12 is probably too big, okay? You can also use the bracket tool. So what is the bracket tool? It's on your keyboard. You see how it shows up? So I'm gonna go like that. And the other thing I want you to do is turn on smoothing over here. So I'll go about 60 or 50. If you're really, really good at hand drawing, you would drop that to about 40 or, or 30. But because you're learning to draw on a tablet, which is like kind of a little bit different than drawing on paper, you always want it on a little bit. Okay, so I said I want a... Now, I draw the line, look at my hand, I take my hand off. I could draw the rectangle all in one shot, but I want you to get in the habit of lifting up your hand and then putting it back down. Because what that does is if you do Command Z, you only undo one line. So let me, example, let's pretend I, I screwed up and oh, I just go Command Z, okay? Now I put it back down here. I'm gonna draw my next line. And I, it looks kind of crooked and that's fine because that's what I want. I want organic shapes, not like perfectly geometrical, okay? So there's my first one. I'm gonna pretend that I went over the line here like this. Okay, two things are wrong with this shape. First off, it's not closed, so when I go to color it, it's gonna be a problem, so close it. The other thing is I need to erase it, so use the eraser tool, it's a hotkey is E, and again, you can also expand your brush here, let's make that a little bit bigger, and fix it. So you know, you don't always have to redraw it. So I'm gonna undo that one, Command Z, 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 Z. So I said I wanted a, a Triangle, a cube, whoops, now I gotta click B for the brush tool. So that's the hotkey, you might as well get used to the hotkeys. I lift my pen, remember I said to do that. I totally exaggerated so you could see. Now, in your case, you have a little more time, you can try a few times. I'm not gonna erase that, you guys can do it. And then I want you to practice drawing a sphere, okay? And if you have to do these five, six times, fine. Now over here, I want, uh, I don't even know what you call this shape, but a triangle uh, slash 3D. Triangular prism. Triangular prism, wow, cool, thank you. A cube, now you should probably know how to draw a cube if you haven't. Okay, so do your best. Again, I want it to be organic, so in other words, not perfect. You're, you're trying to do it by eye. You can redo it three, four times. Uh, a sphere. Now, the only difference between a sphere and a, is that you would maybe increase the opacity here. Let's go 50%, increase this. And, you know, like make it look like there's, you see that? So, in other words, some kind of thing like that. 
then bring that back up to 100%. And over here, you're gonna draw a couple of cylinders. Okay, so I'm going really fast. What I want you to do, if you're gonna practice, draw, if you have more room, draw like four or five different shapes of the cylinders, okay? When you're done this, I want you to color them. So pick a color, you go to your swatches, try different colors. So that one is this color, uh, that one is this color. We're again, just refreshing and don't use black for the insides so I can see. Oops, I just did that one, Command Z. So you're trying out different colors. And if you like, let's pretend like that. Well, those are all, you know, you get the idea. So that's what I want you to do. When you're done, file, save as, and save to your computer, as you know, we're not using a cloud. You're gonna say this is a JPEG. And please make sure you're looking at where you're downloading it. I felt, remember we talked last week about you have to create a folder with your name on it. And see, for me, it's Mark Dubot period four for you guys. And I'm gonna just call this uh, lesson one. Any questions, guys? No. Okay, go grab a tablet. And I'm gonna, the door, I'll open it if it's not uh, done. And I'm just gonna pause.